What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be doing another one of my full face of first impressions. I have a nice little selection of makeup, some high end, some drugstore. So you guys know the drill by now. I'm just gonna be chucking all of that on my face and let you know my thoughts as we go along. I'm also very excited to let you all know that ShopTagger have actually sponsored part of this video. You guys know I love ShopTagger. I've banged on and on about them multiple times. It is no secret to anyone that I buy a lot of makeup. That's probably like the biggest understatement of the century. So if there's any way that I can save money, coupons, discount codes, whatever, you name it, I'll have it. So if you don't know what ShopTagger is, you obviously haven't seen any of my videos before because I have worked with them a fair few times in the past purely because I love it so much. ShopTagger is basically an online web app which you can download. It literally takes two seconds to download it. It's like two clicks or something crazy. So basically the way that ShopTagger works is say for example, you're on a website and I don't know, you find like an eyeshadow palette that you're dying to get but you don't quite wanna pay full price. All you do is save it to your ShopTagger and what ShopTagger will actually do is let you know when there's any kind of discount on the item, whether it's like 25% off, 50% off, or even if it's actually just come back in stock. That's probably one of my favorite features of ShopTagger because obviously doing what I do, if there's a new palette that drops or something, you guys know I like to pick things up as soon as I can to then put a video out of it. So once that item comes back in stock or if it's discounted or anything, you instantly get an email or you get a push notification on your phone. If you're a bit of a shopaholic like me and you have a lot of stuff on your ShopTagger, you can actually split them up into different lists. So I generally have one for makeup and then also one for clothes. And ShopTagger actually have a brand new feature which I have been loving. I have been taking full advantage of it. So basically when you go to checkout when you go to pay for things, ShopTagger will actually search the internet for you to find the best deal. You literally don't even have to do anything yourself, it just does it instantly by itself and it saves you money. Or at least it should save you money. If you're anything like me, then you'll think, oh, I just saved 10 pounds on that, let's go and spend it on something else. So I know you're probably thinking, okay, Steph, that all sounds great, but what is the catch? There is literally no catch. The app is completely free to download, super easy to download, like I said. Once you've got it downloaded, you don't have to do anything. Like I said, it'll just search the coupon codes and everything on the internet for you. It's just bloody good. Like you guys know, I don't just normally sit here and promote apps, but like, this is a good one. So if you guys do wanna check out ShopTagger, I will leave a link to everything in the description box down below. Like I said, it is super, super easy to download and free. If you have absolutely no intention on downloading ShopTagger and you just sat and listened to me ramble for the past few minutes, then thanks, you're the real MVP. But yeah, if you like to shop, if you like to save money, then definitely check it out. So now, let's move on to the makeup side of things. So yeah, I have a lot to put on my face right now. So let's get into it. All right, lads, so first of all for primer, I'm gonna be using the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This is probably like one of the most kind of like hyped up primers over the past few years. I've heard so many people talk about it and I've had it for a while. I just don't know why I haven't used it yet. Even though I've heard it, it's like meant to be one of the best. I've just been, I've been playing myself a little bit here. It smells kind of like the, yeah, basically smells exactly like the Truth Serum and the orange cream that I love that I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, it smells like that. Don't know why I'm showing you this primer because it doesn't really look like much. But I'm just gonna pop that on my skin. Oh, it really does smell so good. It smells more like oranges than banana. To be honest, it basically feels like a moisturizer, which I love, but it does give my skin a really nice little glow. I know a lot of people that actually just use this on its own for like a no makeup makeup kind of look. So yeah, so far so good with that one. Next, moving on to foundation. So I have here the new Zoeva foundation. It is called the Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation. They sent over three different colors. I have 210N Gifted, Generous, and Grace. I'm actually losing a lot of my tan at the moment, so I'm probably gonna go for one of the lighter colors. There's that one. This one here is 210N. They don't look that different, to be fair. I'm gonna give the lighter one because apparently it's lighter. They look basically the same to me. One just looks a little bit more olivey. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go for the lighter one for a minute. Oh my God, this is actually really oxidizing quite a lot. Wow. Oh my God, that is too dark for me. That's seriously just getting darker and darker. Like, I feel like I, I like the foundation. It looks really nice and glowy and dewy and everything. And it's got good coverage. But whoa, it's just get, I look like an Oompa Loompa. And this is one of the lighter ones. Really digging how this actually looks on my skin though. Like it's glowy and it's shiny, but it's not like super, super oily looking. This will be a good color for me when I do have a bit of a tan back on me again. But right now it is just looking a little bit orange. Literally, look at that hairline in comparison. I feel like I need to kind of like put it right through my bloody scalp. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for a minute. 
I really like how it looks. Again, I just wish the color was a little bit more like true to how it looks in the bottle. So I'd probably say if you are struggling to find your shade, maybe go like a shade down or something, or if you can get a tester, then that's what I probably would do. Obviously it's looking really, really shiny and everything right now, but I'm just obsessed with how that looks on my skin. So now for concealer, I have this guy from Milani, which I picked up in Vegas. If you guys haven't seen my haul, I will leave a link to it down below. This is the Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 125 Light Natural. Okay, good. This looks quite light. I normally like a lighter concealer, so this might kind of sort the color situation out here. So I'm going to do a couple of stripes under my eyes, like so. And then I'm going to blend that under my eyes with this brush. Just kind of bringing that around my nose and under my eyes. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit more and just press it on with my fingers because that's what I like to do with concealer under my eyes. Just fine, it tends to give it slightly more coverage. Oh, hot damn. Yeah, that's good. You guys know your concealers. I swear to God, like anytime you guys recommend me concealers, I'm like, okay, I'm picking that shiz up. Yeah, a lot of you said this is like one of your favorite concealers and to be honest, I can see why because this is great. Definitely a potential new fave. I'm just putting it out there. And thank God I got a lighter shade because right now we need it. So what I'm gonna do is do kind of like a little bit of reverse contouring and basically lighten up around my jaw and also a little bit in the center of my forehead. So I'm just slowly blending that up a bit around my mouth. I remember when I did a review of these brushes and the video was sponsored by Iconic London, but no one believed me that I actually really, really like these brushes because they do look a little bit odd, but Still using them, baby. Still love them. So again, I'll just quickly show you guys in the macro to show you how it's all sitting on my skin, but I love it. Okay, so like, fully aware I am very beige right now, but look how freaking good my skin is looking. It fully covers everything up, but it doesn't look cakey at all. All right, so now for powder, I have the Coty Air Spun Loose Powder. I have heard so many people, specifically like American YouTubers talking about this. Apparently it's a classic. Open this bad boy up. Oh, what the hell has happened here? Okay, so I actually got this from YesStyle originally, but it's, it's, I think it's like exploded along the way. Oh my God, it smells like old ladies, which I love. I want, I want a perfume like this. My friends have this joke because all my favorite perfumes are like old lady smells. I need to find out what this smells like. because I've definitely sniffed an old woman before. That doesn't sound right. I have definitely smelt an old, that still doesn't sound right. I have definitely had an old woman walk past me and I have smelt this smell. So I'm like, what the hell is it? Oh, I love it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of the powder there. Oh my God, it just smells so good. I swear I am just an old woman in a 26 year old's body. I, I like granny perfumes. My hair's like, well, it's kind of blue at the moment, but it's like a blue rinse, you know? I like jigsaw puzzles. I like Sudokus. It basically just sounds like I'm filling out my Tinder bio at the moment. Okay, so I powdered under my eyes and it is very, very matte and there is some creasing, which like, to be fair, it's not actually that bad. I always put something on my lower lash line when I'm doing my makeup anyway, so it does kind of cover everything up. But there is a tiny little bit of creasing, but it's not anything too noticeable. Like to be honest, I thought it was gonna be a lot heavier. But yeah, if any of you know what this smells like, if any of you have like a perfume or like your grandma has a perfume that smells like this, then please let me know what it is. Cause I will hunt it down. I like this powder and not just because it smells like a retirement home. Well, that does help. Yeah, look at this. The foundation's still glowy and it's matte, but it's not too matte. And under my eyes, you might be able to see a tiny little bit of creasing, but it's not too bad to be honest. But yeah, I feel like this base is looking really good. So now for bronzer and contour, I have two of the same products in two different colors. So these are the Bare Minerals bronzers. We have one in the shade Photan and then one in the shade Warmth. I actually used to work for Bare Minerals way back in the day and they used to have these in loose pots. Pretty sure they still do actually. So I mean like technically I have tried this before but I've not tried it in the compact version. So what I'm gonna do is take the Photan first. Ooh, I was worried it was gonna be too pigmented but you can actually like swirl your brush around there. It doesn't pick up too much product. So I'm just gonna dust that off and pop that on my cheeks. 
I love how literally like two seconds ago I was like, oh, I'm looking too bronzy. I need to turn it down. Suddenly, whack two bronzers on my face like it's no one's business. Yeah, this is really nice. And I like the fact that it is now in a compact because I mean, like, I loved the product before, but I'm not really one for loose products that much. Like I like a loose powder, but that's kind of it. So I do feel like this is easier to apply now. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of warmth. So I'm just gonna tap my brush in there. And again, just dust off the excess and pop that just above my cheeks. Okay, yeah, I loved it back in the day. I still love it now. I love it even more now because it's so much easier to apply. Um, yes, but yeah, love both of those. If you tried the original, maybe you kind of want to try a compact. These are fab and basically exactly the same. So now for highlighter is something that I actually picked up in Superdrug a while ago now. I swatched it in store. It literally looked like one of the most insane highlighters I had ever seen. It fell in the back of my drawer. I just found it again. Long story short, this is going all over my face. So this is the Pop Beauty Prismatic Pop Illuminating Powder. And I got this one in the shade Gilded Light. I think they have like three different colors of this or something. But like, look at this. Like, how the hell, like how, how, how do they make it so shiny? So I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush and pick up some of that. Let's see what we can do here. I wanna get like a good look, because I feel like this is gonna be really good. Oh my God. I literally picked up the tiniest amount then as well. I can't fault that at all, to be honest. Let's try it on the macro so some of you guys can see it close up, because I know this is gonna be like porn for some of you. Okay, ready? That's so good, dude. Like, what the hell? Why does no one talk about this? I love this so much, so much. If you can get this, like if you can try it out in your local super drug or something, at least swatch it. Do some homework for me. Go into your local super drug. If they have it, swatch it. That's your homework for this week. So now I'll move on to my crazy looking brow. So what I have here is the Technic Ultra Fine Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And then I also have this guy from Collection. It's called the Incredi Brow Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette. All right, so it's got a little spoolie on the end. So I'm just gonna brush my brows up. Okay, so let's have a little look at this. Let's just tuck my boob back in. Okay, it looks quite warm which I was a little bit nervous about. Luckily, I don't need to fill in my brows too much, so this hopefully shouldn't look too crazy, but let's give it a go. Yeah, it's just a touch too warm for me. It's fine, like I can still use it and everything. I need something that's a bit more cool tone, but this still works if I do just want to fill in a few little gaps. So now I'm gonna take this guy here. This is a lot different than what I was expecting. It's actually like a little plastic wand, like an actual mascara wand. It says brown mascara, but like this is literally a mascara. Okay, again, the color's a bit off here, but it's not like a super, super pigmented brow gel. Like it's fairly sheer, like it's pigmented, but it's also not fully opaque. So it does slightly lighten my brows, but nothing overly noticeable. Yeah, that's not a bad little brow combo there. If it was like my perfect color, I'd be so much more buzzing about it. But I mean, they're both super cheap products, so I'm pretty happy. So now I have a little setting spray to try out. I actually didn't even know that Glam Glow did setting spray. I thought it was just like mostly skincare and stuff, but this is the Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. Ooh, that is so bright and actually kind of like hurts my eyes a little bit, but I dig it. I wonder if it smells of anything. That smells like sweets. See what the spray's like. Oh, that's how a mist should be. That's really nice. It smells like sweets and vanilla, and I'm fully aware I put way too much on my face then, but I was just having a moment and sniffing it. So now I'll move on to lips. Fancy switching it up a little bit right now. So what I have is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. I've tried these before, but I picked it up in a different shade. This one is called Bombshell. And then, oh my God, don't honestly, it makes me wanna cry actually even looking at these because you guys know I love mini things. I got these lipsticks in Superdrug. They're from Winky Lux. It's called the Mini Lip Pill Kit. Look how freaking small these are. Why are my eyes well enough about this? Oh my God, they're so cute. They literally look like little pills. You probably shouldn't have these if you have kids because they probably will try and eat them. Oh, <gasps> that's so teeny tiny. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this liner on my lips. I've tried these before, I've not tried this color. Whoa, that actually looks a lot more 
pinky peach than I thought it was going to. I know they're expensive, but I feel like if you ever want to treat yourself, if there's like a colour that you just love, that's like your everyday nude or something, for example, the lip liners are good, man. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to use Pippi. This is literally the smallest lipstick I think I've ever used in my entire life. Oh, it matches quite well with the liner. Oh, they smell good as well. Why are they so cute? Okay, so that's Pippi. That went on like a dream. These are nice. Oh my God, look at that purple. What? Wow, that, I might need to do a look with that one. So now for my eyes, like I said, I'm just gonna be doing a nude look today and that is because I have the Huda Beauty nude palettes to try out. So I have every single shade here. I've got light, medium and rich. I feel like light's maybe gonna be like not that interesting. Oh, I was wrong. I was so wrong. Oh my God, that purple looks stunning. Let's have a look at medium. Very nice. Then we have the rich palette. Ooh, also very nice. Okay, I think, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I'm actually like, I was gonna do something a bit more just kind of like boring and just like playing in a nudie, but I actually think I might go for the light palette and do a little bit of something, something with the browns and then maybe whack that really nice like lilac shade on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a teensy tiny little bit more concealer just so it's nice and tacky. And then to set my lid, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, just like the middle nudie shade and just pop that all over my lid. Easy peasy, very nice. It has literally just like brightened my entire eye. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade here and just pop that in my crease. Oh, that's actually more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like super, super subtle. And I mean, it is subtle, but you can definitely see what's going on there. And then I'm gonna take a little angle brush and I'm gonna go in with this slightly darker shade here. I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner. Oh, hello, chocolatey brown goodness. I'm basically just tapping that on my outer corner first. And then I'll kind of like feather it onto my lid a bit more. I feel like that looks a bit patchy. Maybe I'll try it with a fluffy brush. <clears throat> like it's, average. Like, I'm not really, really struggling with it, but it's like, there are so many neutral palettes on the market that are cheap, that are like super affordable. You can get a better brown than that in those palettes. Like this is just a bit, yeah, just a bit subpar to be honest. You know what? I'm actually going to go into the Bare Minerals Compact because I feel like that's going to be nicer. I'm going to pick up some of that and fan that on my outer corner instead. All right, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was just a bit of a dud shade. Let's try out this lilac shade here. So I'm taking that on a fluffy brush, tapping off the excess, and I'm gonna pack that on. I can feel fallout. Whoa, that's a lot of fallout. I'm gonna take a bit of my finger actually, because I know sometimes you do have to use a finger with some of Huda's shadows. And to be fair, that actually does look really good like that. Yeah, okay, use your finger with this because that looks stunning now. So now I'm gonna sack off that matte brown shade in the palette and I'm actually gonna go back in with the Bare Minerals bronzer. So this one I'm using is the Photan one. And I'm running that on my lower lash line. Yeah, I mean like, this isn't even an eyeshadow and I prefer it to the darker one in the palette. So yeah, I don't really rate the palette. It's nice enough, like if you have it, you can fully make use of it. It's not like it's a complete dud and I'm gonna waste it or anything. I will continue to use it. Is it worth the money? I would say no. Go out and buy yourself some like Makeup Revolution palettes or something like that, save yourself some money. It would be nice if it was a drugstore palette, but the fact that it is an expensive high-end palette and it is pretty teeny tiny, I would probably give this a pass. So now for mascara, I have the Maybelline Snapscara. I've seen a lot of people use this before in the past. I think I saw a lot of ads for it a while ago. And I swear it says something about like, easily coming off with water or something. And I'm like, well, what if I cry? Or what if it rains? Will my mascara just run? Okay, so the packaging is actually kind of cute. It actually looks a little bit like a liquid lipstick. I would not look at this and go, that's a mascara. Oh, it's got a weird little bendy one there. You know what, I'm open to trying new things. Let's see what this guy's like. 
It's getting the roots of my lashes quite nicely. I feel like it's gonna make my lashes really, really long and kind of like wispy looking. Yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. It's just kind of like, I normally like a bit more volume, but I can still appreciate this mascara. Like it's making my lashes look really, really long, really curled and also quite black. Yeah, it really does make my lashes super long though. If you like something that just makes your lashes look really, really long and kind of like wispy looking, you will probably like this. If you're like me and you like something a bit more clumpy, you might like this, but it's probably not like the best mascara from Maybelline that you could pick up. All right, guys, you know what's coming. Do I even really need to explain at this point? I'm just gonna go ahead and go off camera, do the other eye, and then I'll check back with you guys for the final look. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I love how I was like, I'm gonna do something super neutral today, and I've ended up doing a pink lip and purple lights. Standard. Honestly, like I like pretty much everything. The powder, the concealer, the brow products were all right. The only thing I wasn't that keen on that I was actually really excited to try was the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. It's, like I said, it's all right. It's just a lot of money for something that's all right. So I probably would just go ahead and pick up something from the drugstore that is like a neutral palette that's probably like a fifth of the price. But yeah, I feel like overall, I found a lot of new faves today. So guys, unfortunately, I don't actually have time to do a check-in today, but I will let you guys know how everything wears in the comment section down below. So do check that out if you do want a few updates. Once again, a massive thank you to Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. Like I said, I will leave links to everything in the description box down below if you do want to check it out, which I highly, highly recommend. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.